Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry for the delay. So here is like my journey in FOSS with Faro and FOSS Asia. So um, this is something about myself. I'm a junior year student at, from Delhi, India, and a student developer at GSOC and GCI mentor. And basically, I'm the director of Women Who Code Delhi. So I encourage women to in, uh, excel in technology. That's all about myself. And uh, for me, FOSS is a like great world to be. I'm enjoying it. It's been more than one and a half years. And yeah, it's nice. And I came in touch with FOSS Asia via mailing list and IRC. The word Faro actually caught my fancy, hence I started with Faro. Uh, this is, these are just a few points how you could start with FOSS. I need to like rush up because it's just a five. It's been shortened to five minutes lightning talk. And uh, I started with Google Son of Code for FOSS Asia, and I've been contrib contributing to it since then. So basically, how many of you have heard about Faro? I guess not many because it's a very restricted community. But I, for Faro is an open source implementation of the programming language Smalltalk. Uh, how many of you have heard about Smalltalk? Okay, so Smalltalk is a very uh, old language, though many have not heard about it. And Faro is an open source implementation, as said, and it's ID plus OS rolled into one. Many of might be having questions how it's an OS. Basically, it has an independent uh, uh, independent windowing system and uh, a special flavor of uh, Smalltalk that we can actually boot, boot uh, help you boot the system without uh, any OS and it's actually based on the Linux kernel. So there's, these are a the few features of the Faro. It's simple and powerful. It's a pure, ob pure object-oriented language as in it's just object and messages which interact with each other. There are no constructors, no type declarations, and like no interfaces, no primary types. It's like very simple. The syntax is very short. And the virtual machine is itself written in small talk. And uh, I've, like, I've worked on many of the tools and technology, but I can guarantee Faro has one of the best debugging experiences and uh, a live environment. Uh, it works on hot recompilation basically. So it recompiles on the fly. You don't need to like program. Uh, you, need, you need not re need to compile the whole program. It recompiles on its own and Faro is yours actually. It has an incredible community. I believe it's one of the most friendliest community I've come across. You can ask the stupidest question on IRC or mailing list and it will get answered. And it doesn't have much people like the last ID which was released in April 2015. I contributed to it by resolving bugs and all. And there are just 80 contributors who contribute to this uh, living environment. So I guess it's a small community but the friendliest one I've come across. And uh, to work more on uh, Faro, I developed SearchQuick, a search utility in Faro which basically uh, lets you search through the documents in your system. It's an offline search utility. And uh, these are the I use Morphic for it. Morphic is another GUI interface, graphic user interface for Faro. And yeah, that's it for Faro. So in case of any doubts, you can ask. Thank you.